I thought you did fantastic this week as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed the dance this week. I couldn't have wished for more. And I'm so glad I went out on a high. And Georgina and James, join me now. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for coming in. Um, Frustrating or good to go out on such a great performance, George? It was great to go out on a high. I think, you know, we've all got to leave at some point in the competition unless we're going to win it. And I kind of had the, an idea that I wasn't going to win. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really pleased that I went out on a good dance and the outfit was great and it was just a really good evening. Len go. gave you an eight. I know, how brilliant. And so did you think, it was my favourite line ever, is when you said that you, you'd done your first dance and you felt a bit like Torval and Dean. I mean, <laughs> yeah. and, and then Len gave you an eight. Did you think, oh, maybe we're safe this week? Yeah, I did in a way, but my head felt that I was safe, but my heart kind of knew. And it was funny because I got my digital camera out and started taking pictures of all my colleagues. And that was a bit weird. I thought that was a sign that I must have known that we were leaving. James, how frustrating for you to have got her there using extraordinary tactics that we can talk about in a minute, but um, whatever way it was, and then to leave. I mean, it was a shame because she'd done a fantastic job and she was definitely by far the most improved dancer on the show. That's no question. So it's kind of a shame that she'd done her best dance and went out in that week. But I think we both kind of had the same feeling. Because we was in that middle bracket, we knew that we weren't going to be safe and kind of the people that are at the bottom, they always get voted back in. Yeah. So we, we had an idea we were going to go. Well, sometimes that happens, that people feel very bad for the underdog, so they, they use their vote. Of course, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, uh, let's talk about your tactics. Ooh. Because I, I was often confused, because you would two would go from fiery, really shouty, almost like brother and sister, like, it's not rocket science. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I don't think they'll be talking. And then you would, I'd go back to the training rooms and have a look, and you'd be cuddling. <laughs> yeah. is, is that how it works for you? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I mean, I have got a fiery temper, I know that, um, but I'm also the kind of person that doesn't hold a grudge, and I do forget about things very quickly, and luckily for me, Georgina is the same kind of person, that she, she doesn't hold a grudge, and we were there to do a job, and just got on with it, really, to be honest and with also you. I know it's a creative process, you know, and different teachers have different ways of doing things, and as long as it gets a result at the end, I think, as artists, we... That's kind of how we expect things to be. I thought you took it incredibly well. Because every time you came in, I was like, oh, seriously, do you want some chocolate? No, do you want to be really... <laughs> are you really grumpy with him? No, he's actually no, lovely. No, because he is lovely. We get, we've had such a laugh. We really have. I mean, every day I've had training with him, we've just giggled all day, apart from when we've been fighting. Obviously. Yes. <laughs> well, well, uh, guys, have a look at your uh, highlights. Have a look. Thank you. Stand facing me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What have they given me? I'd really like to have a dance partner who's quite patient. Stand on your right leg, it's not difficult. My ideal partner would be someone very determined. Just having a break. <laughs> very focused. I've only told you that 72 times. And very, very competitive. Come on, Chevy. <laughs> he thinks I'm a bit of a porker. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Hey. Come on! Put your hands on your temples, you lazy cow. Come on, fat belly. This is for you. Aww. When it comes to the crunch, I will give it my all. She has improved so much. I couldn't have asked for any more support from him. He was so lovely. You look good, though. And we're getting on really great, so that's fantastic. Kick. <laughs> Kick. The honeymoon period is over now. I cannot control which leg you stand on. If you're not going to do it properly, there's no point in doing it at all. Just teach me how to dance and shut up. Stop arguing with me. Oh! I love my job. He's just too much of a laugh and he's too funny for me to be angry with him for too long. OK, go for 50. 50? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 3 4, 2, 6, 2, 7, 48, 48, 48, 48. <laughs> he was brilliant. He's a good boy. Have you met Miss Joan? Well, the couple with the lowest score and out of Strictly Come Dancing. It's Georgina and James. <laughs> Georgina has been a ray of sunlight. Oh, my God, sir, because she's my buddy. She took
took a lot of stick from the judges, but she handled it so well, and she's going to be really missed. I've really had the best time of my life. I really have, and James has taught me so much. Um, who are you guys going to be supporting? Who do you think is uh, the best dancers in the competition? Um, go on. Don't you wanna, well, I mean, obviously, uh, Louise is like my little sis, so, you know, I'll be supporting her, I think. Um, for me, I would probably have to say Mark. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Just I'd like Mark to see him win. Really I just think he's fantastic. And, and he's such a lovely guy He's such guy a nice well. guy with it as well. So I would like to see him win. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Georgina and James. <laughs> On Saturday night, we all tuned in to watch a bit of dancing, but Brendan Cole, who else, had other ideas. Revolution was in the air.